video, I'm going to share with you how I organize my cleaning caddy and how you can easily set one up in your house to make cleaning a breeze. Antoinette here from MyOneSweetLife.com where I help busy mamas like you get organized and design a life that you love. As moms, we are the CCOs of our household, right? And by CCO, I mean the Chief Cleaning Officers. So having an organized cleaning caddy with all of your cleaning supplies within reach will not only make cleaning easier for you, it'll be a lot quicker too. So here is my cleaning caddy, and in here I have everything that I need so I can go through um, the entire house and not have to worry about walking back and forth to grab something that I've missed because once it's in here, then it's ready to go. So I actually found this caddy at Target years ago. Um, it was during their back to school. It's actually meant to be a shower caddy for college-bound students um, to use in the dorms. Um, but I thought it was perfect. It would house everything that I needed um, without wasting any space. So I like how it's um, there's different sections that you can um, organize all your stuff. Um, this one has one, two, three, four, five sections, and um, I will show you how I divide everything. So there's two big sections here, and on one side I have my window and glass cleaner. This is uh, my shower and bath cleaner. And this is my all-purpose cleaner. Now, I got the idea for um, doing this from Alhandra.tv, and I'll link to her video below, but I thought this was just such a cute idea. Um, the koozies were a dollar from the dollar store. Um, the bottles that the tops originally came from were a dollar from the dollar store and then inside it's actually a glass bottle and this one is a fizzy bubbly water drink that this um, drink was actually a dollar too so each container um, so each one of these is three dollars and it's so cute it's so colorful I love it um, and having it color coded makes it easier to find um, what cleaner I'm looking for. So this is actually a spice container that I repurposed um, for baking soda and it has like a little shaker up top and it's just a perfect um, little container to hold that in. And so that is in one of the slots if it fits right here. And then with that, I have this little duster pad um, just in case I need to dust anything really fast that goes in that section as well. And then in the little section next to it, I have a little bottle of this is stone cleaner. And I just use the same one that I have downstairs. It's the Method um, Stone Cleaner, I think it's what it's called. Um, but it's for granite, marble, um, for like granite and marble surfaces and since our counters in our bathroom are marble it's um, I have to use this to clean it um, so it doesn't ruin the marble. So these, so these things are on the back side here and then in the front I have a sponge that I just keep right there so I can um, scrub down so I can scrub down the shower walls and the tub. So on the other big side this side I have um, toilet cleaner and this one is my favorite right now it's simple truth organic toilet cleaner in bergamot bergamot mint and it smells so good it, and I'm just so surprised at how much I actually like the smell of the toilet but um, it smells really good and it works really well and then right now I'm using the seventh generation disinfecting multi-surface cleaner and this scent is pretty strong, but um, I like it. I still like it. It works really well too. In the back, I have a plastic cup 
that I can rinse the shower and the tubs and stuff with. That um, holds my cleaning brush. Um, that if I need to scrub the tubs and the bottom of the shower, I can use that for a toothbrush for getting like the little surfaces and um, my cleaning gloves are also in here. So that stays in the back. Hello. You can shoot it one more time. Oh, it's so pretty. Oof, oof, oof. So, um, so I actually keep my cleaning caddy in our laundry room. We have um, a, a lower cabinet that it fits perfectly inside. Um, it's all tucked away and I can easily get it or access the cleaners if I need it um, just really quickly. So a couple of the cleaning cloths that I use are like a cotton um, cloth microfiber. Everybody has microfiber these days, right? And um, this special like cleaning um, cloth for glass. And I keep these um, in the drawer above our cleaning caddy and that way like whenever I'm ready to clean, I just go in there and pull out the um, I just go in there and pull out the cloths, like the ones that I need um, for that cleaning task and, and everything is just situated in one area, ready to go um, whenever I need to access it. I just wanted to mention that I, these are not all of the cleaners that I have in my house. I also have some downstairs, like the all-purpose cleaner, the glass cleaner, and the stone cleaner, um, just to have it on hand whenever I need them downstairs so I don't have to run up and down the stairs all the time. So I wanted to leave off with a couple of cleaning tips for you. Cleaning is such a daunting task. If there's any way to make it quicker, easier, then I'm all for that. So tip number one is to start from like an entryway of your room and work around in a circle. So that way you're not backtracking when you're cleaning. Tip number two is to clean from top to bottom and dust settles, right? So you wanna start um, dusting the corner of the ceilings of the room and work your way down. So then that way you're not cleaning um, the surface of like a bookcase or a bookshelf and then, um, then you go up top and then stuff falls down. So you just want it to be easy. So from tip number one and tip number two, you're gonna start around the room working from top to bottom like a, like a spiral. Tip number three is to spray your disinfectant on your toilets and handles and everything before you start cleaning other stuff in your bathroom because it takes like five to 10 minutes for the disinfectant to actually work. So you wanna just like pre-spray it and then um, come back to it when you're ready to start cleaning. Tip number four is to have vacuuming be the last task that you do for the room. And that way you clean up all the dust that you've knocked down and um, it'll leave you those pretty vacuum lines um, whenever you're done with the room. Tip number five is if you have any old cotton t-shirts laying around, go ahead and cut them up and use them as cleaning rags. These are excellent for, for wiping down mirrors and glass. These I've noticed have left mine like streak free it doesn't leave like the little particles um, behind like a lot of rags do that way it'll be just another way to use something that you might have um, thrown out at first so that is my cleaning caddy and a, and a few quick tips to help you clean a little bit more efficiently I have found that keeping like a system like this to be really successful it's very effective easy to use and easy to keep organized and I hope that you can implement this system inside your house. Now you know how to create your cleaning caddy but I understand if you didn't have time to create one alongside me. So that's why I created a cleaning caddy cheat sheet for when you do have a couple of minutes to tackle this project. You can download this free cheat sheet by clicking the link in the corner or below this video. After you finish organizing your cleaning caddy, I would love for you to come back, leave me a comment below this video, and let me know. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button below so I know to make more videos like this. I'll see you next time. Bye!
tip number three is to clean or er, tip tip number three so I just wanted to let you back the glass cleaner um, under the kitchen 